The second-generation Kia Cerato sedan appeared in Ukraine in the spring of 2009, although its sales started almost a year earlier in South Korea. Quite attractive in appearance, good and inexpensive to operate, he attracted the attention of many. And with the advent of the two-door coupe Cerato Coupe in 2010, the interested audience expanded due to individualists who prefer just such a layout, a couple of engines, two gearboxes. Choosing a second-generation Cerato in the secondary market is not difficult if you know a few starting points. Let's talk about them. And also take into account that at the end of 2010 the sedan was modernized. A 5-speed mechanics and a reliable, but archaic 4-speed automatic gave way to 6-speed transmissions. The new automatic transmission turned out to be noticeably quicker than its predecessor. The dynamics and smoothness of the ride clearly increased, partly even increased efficiency, but in terms of reliability, the increase did not happen. If a 4-speed automatic transmission easily nursed more than 200,000 km with regular lubricant changes and was considered reliable, then you can't say the same about the new automatic. Suddenly, the valve body can cover up, which is why the gears jump when braking. And if the selector position sensor starts to strike, the emergency operation of the torque converter is activated. Not everything goes smoothly with the MCP. It happened that already by 100,000 km the synchronizer clutch and the third stage blocking ring gave up. Why is it difficult to engage third gear without an unpleasant crunch? It is noticed that before this you have to change the clutch disc and clutch release. If we recommend one of the two engines, then we are on the side of the 2 liter Theta 24 GKC unit. In Ukraine, it was offered in a 156 horsepower version while in the original it produced 163 horses, obviously, a slight downshifting was predetermined by the quality of the fuel. The resource is in order, it runs 250,000 km with a regular, every 15,000 km, oil change. It seems that our 90-second gasoline also digests without any problems. Although experts do not particularly recommend abusing it, the neutralizer may fail, 15,000 Ukrainian hryvni, but with its smaller counterpart, the 1.6-liter Gamma 2 G4 FC with a capacity of 126 horsepower in the secondary market, you need to be more careful. After a run of 50,000 km, floating idle speed will tell you that the throttle is clogged. There is a risk of cylinder seizure. Some experts argue that the penetration of dust into the cylinders is possible through the exhaust tract. The protective coating of the cylinders is not too resistant to abrasive, so after 130,000 km there is a risk of forking out for new piston rings as well as main and connecting rod bearings. The timing chain, stretched due to a weak tension mechanism, can also slip. Then the overhaul of the engine can no longer be avoided. You can determine the disease by a noticeable loss of dynamics. This is how the engine management system compensates for problems with the chain. The chassis cannot be called particularly capricious, but it is not the height of strength and reliability either. McPherson front struts and semi-independent beam, at the rear. Increased attention to the front end to the levers, to the shock absorbers, which here really do not like the weight load. Wheel bearings run up to 60,000 km, by the same time, and often earlier, the CV joint anthers wear out. Savings on protection will quickly lead to the cost of a new drive, half-shaft assembly with hinges, about 7,000 Ukrainian hryvni. At the back, everything looks more reliable, although the weight loads here also negatively affect the suspension parts, up to the landing of the springs. With all this, it is difficult to objectively make serious claims to the reliability of Serato. The lacquer coating here is not armor-piercing, but the metal resists corrosion well. It happens that the glazing cracks, the headlights become cloudy, there have been cases when water can penetrate into the cabin, the plastic trim creaks. But this is rather an exception to the rule. In general, the manufacturer's warranty for 5 years or 150,000 km of run is fully justified by the quality of the car. And given that the bulk of the components and service costs sane money, such a purchase can be profitable.